Hey guys, it's Jen. Recently, President Obama has been working with the Department of Health and Human Services to make sure patients can own their medical information, including genetic information. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, medical records. Obtaining records from past medical services or care is really difficult right now. Why is it important to get medical records? In some cases of intersex patients, there is a chance that either when the patient was a child or a baby that the parents were misled and told that their child or they needed to choose a gender. There's also a chance that they weren't informed at all or the doctors made the choice for them. Now, how do you prove that the parents were lied to or misled? By obtaining those original medical records and showing what happened and what happened to the, to the child. When I first sought out a genetic counselor, I went to go get the records from the test I underwent when I was 16. But what they neglected to tell me was I needed to wait because the forms existed on microfilm. Do you remember microfilm? In a different location in Virginia. I don't live in Virginia. Those forms were supposed to be sent to me via electronic copy to my email, but that never happened. Two separate filing errors caused this. I can't make this stuff up. It's just frustrating. It shouldn't be this difficult to obtain information that exists on a microfilm. So I had to show up to the office at that point, demand the records, and then they sent me to the actual location where the copies were being held to be electronically sent to me. I also wanted to obtain my ultrasound from when I was 27 so that I can compare and contrast now, I had the report of that ultrasound that in layman's turn basically said, there's nothing to see here. There's not, we don't see anything. But I wanted to get the actual images to see for myself. One summer day in 2015, I filmed a vlog on the way to pick up those medical records, and that's what you're about to see right now. It's funny how I used to walk down streets vlogging, and people thought I was nuts. But now I can walk down the street vlogging, and people think I'm on FaceTime, she said as she looked down 7th Avenue. I know it's cell phone video. I'm so sorry. Deal with it. There's nothing I can do to help that. I'm walking to the place where I had my 2011 pelvic ultrasound done because it is that ultrasound that confirmed to me what I thought was the truth, that I did not have a uterus or ovaries. It's crazy to think that I had a scan done and it showed one thing. Then they told us that th that, that wasn't true. And now I have the records to show that they said one thing to our faces, but put one, another thing on our charts. Then I had the test done again. Nearly 11 years later, those tests were either completely misread or they decided not to tell us either. It's very confusing. Getting film or radiology is so much easier than getting actual records. And I hasten to tell like how easy it was to get it. I called yesterday and they have the CD ready today. Obtaining all medical records should be so easy. So yeah, it's kind of a mixed bag of emotions right now. On the one hand, if I knew I could have gotten these images three years ago, I would have just come straight for them. So now I kind of feel like an idiot. Oh my God, here it is. How hard will it be to get the records from 1999? Or sorry, the film, the radiology reports and the MRI. Here's how that went. You walk in, you say your name, give them your date of birth, and you walk out with a CD like five minutes later. That's fine. However, the problem is when I'm told it'll take you six to eight weeks to get pieces of paper, yet it is so much easier to get. I don't understand why it's easier to get images than it is to get pieces of paper. If somebody could explain that to me, I would really appreciate it. I don't get it. I literally just want everything. I just want all the stuff. I want all the film. I want all the CDs. I want all the charts. And I want to be able to show that someone said one thing to me and one thing to my mom, but wrote another thing down on a piece of paper that was, that was shared amongst other doctors. People in the medical profession or people in the radiology, radiological profession, everyone is so friendly and nice, but it makes you think like, how much do they not know what's going on? You know, I just walked into that office and I sat down and the old lady's really nice and really friendly. And I'm just thinking to myself, how many children have come in here for, you know, amenorrhea, whatever. You know, they figured out that basically they can't do one thing versus another, or they don't have the parts, but they've been told another thing. It really freaks you out. 
we start to doubt the integrity of every person under the healthcare profession. And that's, that's not right. I'm not saying that all doctors are evil. I'm just saying how many people don't know what's going on in their own hospital office. It's kind of scary when you think about it. Also, I don't know how you can call yourself slightly off topic. I don't know how you can call yourself an endocrinologist and not want to do absolutely everything to help the person find their diagnosis. The endocrinologist I had before this one, uh, I can't help you, uh, you need to go to this person and that person. He was very hands off. When you're getting all the pieces to the puzzle and things are finally starting to come together, it can be emotional and emotions can run high. I remember feeling like it was a win and I was triumphing over something. Why should it feel like I beat something or conquered something? I'm just getting medical records. I'm really glad to see that the president is enacting actual change and making these things more accessible. I left some links in the down bar to newspaper articles that you might find interesting. I know I was a little bit skeptical and freaked out in that video about the truth and what's going on behind closed doors and how people don't know what's going on in their doctor's office. I have great doctors now. I feel like we're aligned in the same way and we have the same goals. You watching this, if you're an intersex patient, you shouldn't have to settle for a bad doctor or a doctor who doesn't want to help you. If they're not providing you the amount of care that you need and not providing you with the answers you're looking for, you need to find a different doctor. In the case of this is the only doctor in the area, you need to explain to them, you know, you're my advocate. It took me a long time to realize that. And it's important that I mention it. Please leave comments or ask questions. I have covered a lot in this, uh, in, in the last video and this video, but I'm always there to answer questions. If I can't answer them, I'll hopefully be able to direct you to someone who can. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for sharing this video. And I hope to keep making more videos. This has been already a really awesome experience to be able to be this honest and talk about stuff. So thanks for watching.